so today we are going to solve the problem tetrahedron from code forces and it is a dp problem so you can pause the video now and read the question the question is pretty easy to understand there is an ant at vertex d and you have to find the number of ways in which it can get back to d in n steps exactly n steps and we are required to print the answer modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. The very first simple observation that you can make is that the lower vertices of the tetrahedron A, B and C are all equivalent. So in effect there are only two kinds of vertices in the tetrahedron, the upper vertex and the lower vertices. So let's relabel the vertices, labeling the upper vertex as 1 and the lower vertices as 0. Let us look at an example path now. So from 1 you come down to 0, then you go towards right to another 0, then you still go towards right to another 0 and then you go up to 1. So that was a path of length 4. Also, in case you are wondering, it is also allowed to go to the upper vertex in an intermediate step. So for example, this is a valid path of length 6. Let's try to think about the states of our DP now. So feel free to pause the video if you want to try on your own. So when we are at the upper vertex, we have three options. We can go to either of the lower vertices labeled 0, provided the number of steps left are not 0. What about the lower vertex? For a lower vertex, you have three options, but there are two kinds of options. The first option is to go to a lower vertex, and the second option is to go to the upper vertex. There are two lower vertices and one upper vertex. So now with this information, can you try writing the recurrence relations? Okay, let's discuss the recurrence relation now. Let ways v, n be the number of ways to get to the upper vertex from the vertex v. So ways top, n will be 3 into ways of bottom comma n minus 1 because from the top vertex we have three options and each of those options reduces our number of steps by 1. What about bottom vertex? From the bottom vertex we can go to the other two bottom vertices so 2 into ways of bottom comma n minus 1 or we could go to the top vertex so ways into top comma n minus 1. There is only one way to go to the top vertex and each of these cases reduces our number of steps by 1. Now what about base conditions? So if you are at the top vertex and you want to reach the top vertex in 0 steps, there is only one way. That is the path of length 0. Don't move at all. If you are at the bottom vertex and you want to reach the top vertex in 0 steps, then there is no way. You can do so. So on the right, I have just converted the recurrence relation into a recursive function. So you can pause and take a look if you want. Now we'll discuss the iterative version of the DP. So we take a 2D array which has two rows and n plus one columns and DP of IJ will represent the number of ways to reach the upper vertex being currently at vertex I where I can be zero or one and to do this in j steps so that is dp of ij so from the base conditions dp of 1 0 will be 1 and dp of 0 0 will be 0 if you observe the recurrence relations carefully you will realize that in order to fill the value dp of ij you would need dp of 0 j minus 1 as well as dp of 1 j minus 1 so in this case we'll have to store values for i is equal to 0 as well as 1 because the next iteration is going to require both of these values. Finally, we return dp of 1 n because we want to find the number of ways to reach the top vertex from the top vertex in n steps. Also, 
do not forget to take modulo at every iteration. So from the main function, we'll just call recur of n and we'll have our answer. So let's take a look at a running example now. On the left is our code and on the right is the dp table. Try to observe how the table is filled. The start of the arrow will indicate the values that are being used for the computation and the end of the arrow will indicate the value that is being computed. I have taken the second test case from the problem that is n is equal to 4 steps. So dp of 1, 4, that is 21, is our answer. So that's it for this visual tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any doubts, feel free to leave a comment. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching.